Lord, open your eyes to see Jesus. Oh, may you see Jesus. Who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Oh, may you see Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So, before I bring the word of God to you, I first of all want to recognize very important people in our midst. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. First of all, we want to recognize the presence of the Holy Spirit in our midst. Amen. And help me appreciate and welcome the presence of the presence of Reverend Evelyn Day. I remember when we spoke, she said that you have to come. And that gave me the confidence Amen. to be here. Amen. Amen. So let me go with the blessing. Hallelujah. I want you to join hands with me and your hearts with me to appreciate Reverend Albert. Thank you. 
as the presence of the Lord. And as you are coming, you will be carrying the presence of the Lord wherever you are. Those who trust in the Lord are so powerful. They just look like the presence of the Lord. The Bible says that as He is, so are we on this earth. If He is strong, we are strong. I want to tell you this morning, you have to accept that if you trust in the Lord, He was strong. Now write this one down. I want to teach you about the characteristics of Mount Zion. Mount Zion is constant. That means it is always there. Mount Zion is permanent. It does not move. Mount Zion to two. It's the hot that you see what Mount Zion is motionless. Mount Zion is eternal. Mount Zion is still. Zion people know it. Mount Zion is firm. Zion people know and what thing. So they that trust in the Lord. Shall be as Mount Zion. That means everything about you will be constant. That means that your healing will be constant. If you trust in the Lord, your healing cannot be removed. If you trust in the Lord, your blessings are constant. Your blessings are permanent. Your blessings are merciless. Your blessings are eternal. Your blessings are firm in Him. Your blessings are still in Him. Nobody can take it out of your hand. If you trust in the Lord,
when Abraham and Jacob and Isaac, Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac, and all the twelve sons of Israel, when Paul and Peter, and John, and John, and all the apostles, and the apostles who have died. When they meet in heaven, they recognize that I am part of them. I am part of the body of Christ. I am part. 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 You are part of the body of Christ. You are part of the saints who have been perfected. You are part.
about your death and resurrection. Anoint me to yearn for souls. Anoint me to be a soul reader. That every day I will bring somebody into your presence. Yeah. 
need to pray. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Everybody pray.
Ni muna ni pawo 